Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I got a few requests and one of the requests was what are all the solutions you use? And so in this video, I'm gonna go through all the solutions I use for the past four years and I haven't gotten really anything outside of these. So let's go ahead and go through each one. The first one is the saline solution. They come in different ways. Uh, mine just comes in a five pack at a time. All you do is just remove one. So I'll remove it probably from up here. And it's really stuck. There we go. So I'll just use one, take out the top, and this is what I'll use to insert my contacts, which you could check out the video here. A lot of people have given me positive feedback. They said the videos have really helped them. So check out that video to see how I apply this. Now, in terms of getting this, I know Amazon sells them, but I don't recommend using any of that. Um, I have Kaiser, so I use the pharmacy for this. Um, or ask your eye doctor where you can find the saline solution because uh, depending on where you get your saline some of them are used for um, people who have asthma and those inhalers and so I know the percentages are a bit different so you want to make sure you get the right one for the eyes okay so make sure you ask your doctor first before you buy any external saline solution the next solution I use is something like the sensitive eyes now we know that when we're cleaning our contacts we don't want to be using water because uh, of contamination so this is your water replacement the bottle is pretty big it actually lasts me something like two months um, it's basically what I use to clean my contacts so if I take them out I'll just spray like as if it's water while cleaning and then uh, what else would I use it for um, I'll say just cleaning, really. I just use it for cleaning more than anything. It's just literally a water replacement. Um, that's how I see it. So very, very helpful. It comes in two packs. Um, you can get it off Amazon. I'll put all the links to all these things below as well uh, for you guys to check out. The next solution is the Boston Simple Plus Multi-Action Solution. I've never actually said the name before ever. I just know what it is. Keep in mind that they have similar bottles that look like this, so you wanna pay attention here. I get the one that says cleans and conditions. I use this to clean my contacts, so I'll put probably like four drops in and then use my fingers to clean, which I also, again, showed this in my video, which you can check out here. What I really like about the solution, it not only cleans, but actually conditions. And it works when you wake up in the morning after probably at least four hours or eight hours, whatever it is, it conditions the contact so it feels really soft and very comfortable to put in your eyes and so definitely I think this is a must-have again just make sure it says cleans and conditions next up it's also part of cleaning I do not use this every day this is the clear care plus uh, hydro gel so again they have similar bottles that look like this this is the specific ones that I use again I don't use this every day but whenever I want a super deep cleaning, um, cause you know, when we're cleaning every day, it's probably not always the best with, you know, the way we clean with this, maybe we'll miss a spot, maybe we're tired at night. So essentially once in a while, maybe once a week, I would love a super deep cleaning just to make sure, um, you know, there's no like lingering uh, missing spots or dirty places on my lenses. And this would do just that. So you can kind of see this as like, a regular car wash and then this is like detailing like literally um, I don't know if that sounds cheesy but hopefully that helps you understand what this does and so what you'll just do is put your contacts in these cases right here so you put one there and then the other one right here um, so it does say left and right and then you just put the solution in I'm out so I'm gonna buy a new one but you just put the solution in and then close it and then you know it's a hydrogen peroxide so essentially it's gonna you know sparkle up and you'll see it working in action keep in mind that when you do do this do not take it out of the case i think it even says you need to have it for at least six hours so once it goes in this case do not take it unless six hours has passed by so obviously that means you should probably do this overnight um, if you have less than six hours it's more likely going to burn your eyes so be careful with that and I'll say the same for this. I believe it's four hours for this. Yeah, so there it is. Soak lenses for at least four hours overnight before wearing. So yeah, this one is about four hours and this is about six hours. So two hours apart, but yeah, just do it at nighttime. If you're getting a lot of value from this video, guys, I'm trying to reach a thousand followers. Please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and let's keep going. 
when it comes to daily drops, whenever I feel like something's in my eye or in my contacts are not comfortable, I'll use one of these. So they're, they're both made by the same company called Blink. Uh, this one is the dry contacts. And so why I like using this is because it moisturizes. Like it actually really works really well whenever you feel like your eyes are dry and I'll put something like this. Well, this, although same company, um, but it does something a little different. It not only moisturizes, but it also removes lens buildup. So if I feel like my contacts might still be dirty in my eye, maybe after cleaning, and I just want like a really nice windshield wiper, you know, clean, if I may say, then I'll use this. But if I just feel like my eyes are dry, then I'll use this. Now the cool thing is they essentially do the same thing. Uh, this one kind of just does both. It moisturizes and cleans but this one just moisturizes. So you might wonder why not just buy this? Well, this is doing kind of two things. Whereas this specializes in just moisturizing and I really feel like this moisturizes better than this. So um, that's why I still had use both. I don't always carry both in my pocket. I'll usually just use one or the other. Sometimes I'll just carry this or just this. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but I like to have both because if I'm really, really dry eyed, then I'll have this with me. But if I, again, feel like there's just something in my eye or I just want a quick cleaning um, and moisturizing, then I'll use this, okay? So definitely good solutions to have. Last and not least, um, I don't use this so much anymore. I'm still in front of a lot of computer screens and a glare and all that stuff, but I fixed a lot of those things that caused me to have a lot of dry eyes. So whenever your eyes are itching, as we know as Casey or keratoconus patients, right? We don't want to be scratching our eyes. As we've seen, probably that's one of the causes why our eyes bulge out is because we rubbed our eyes a lot. So. We never want to be rubbing our eyes. So what is the replacement of that instead of rubbing your eyes? This is where Zatador comes in. Now Zatador is literally an eye drop um, that essentially is going to get rid of your itchiness. And I don't know any other great brand that works so well. The, the only downside to this, this could be really expensive. In some stores like CVS, it could be like $20. Um, I got mine from Target, I think it was $13. You know, uh, so I, and I also found out CVS is just more expensive, maybe because it's so convenient to just walk in there to get all these solutions. But when I found out Walmart and Target, these things became like an eye opener. They were like way cheaper. Um, and also there's Amazon. So Zatador is the solution to use um, whenever your eyes are itching, especially at night when you take out your contacts and all of a sudden you want to itch. This is your savior. Tell me in the comments below if you use any of this or what other solutions do you use? I'm doing more videos to answer the questions you guys gave me. And I do really appreciate you guys reaching out to me to at least ask questions. And so I am working a lot on new videos. So please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand followers and I know we can do it together. And I'll see you guys on the next video.